What's up traders welcome back today we'll be going through this beautiful trade that i took on this deck using the same trading plan that was introduced in the previous video so let's go so we're back on this deck let me know if you want me to share the trades that i also execute on currencies and commodities so this is the current price section that we have in front of us the first thing that you always have to do when analyzing is to determine where you add with respect to the trading range from premium to discount prices so how we did this in the previous videos was to wait for both buy side and sell side liquidity to be taken out so that will give us a range from premium to discount so we understand that in premium we look for bearish setups in discount we look for bullish setups to target the premium PDR raise or the 50% level which is also known as the equilibrium and finally, you can also target the first short term high that you come across in the opposite side of the range. We have one right here. That's a short term high because we have an intermediate term high above it. So if you're in a bullish position, your first partial profits are going to be at this 50% level. The second partial is going to be at the fair value gap. You must remember that a fair value gap is also a form of liquidity because it is a swing on a lower time frame if you were to look at this h1 swing on a weekly time frame you will see that it's a weekly fair value gap so your final take profit can be the short term high or the external range liquidity so let's go to the price action and order flow that led to my entry so we're on the five minute time frame we have price coming from the weekly fair value gap and discount it caused a market structure shift while forming a trend line phantom. So we know that trend lines are also a form of liquidity too. So we had price pushing higher from these trend lines, making you think that you nail the entry. So where's your stop loss? Obviously, it's always below the swing. So they took out everything, all of the trend lines that were forming in this range. So we had a push higher closing above the candle that took out the liquidity which activates the order block for entry it is also perfectly aligned with the fair value gap which increases the probability of the order block or fair value gap holding we had a push higher forming a market structure shift at this current moment we had a huge fair value gap which you can cut in half we have this down candle, which is a safe order block because it exists with a fair value gap, plus it broke structure. So we had price reacting off of it and forming an order block 2.0, which is also called a proportion block, which is an order block within an order block. It's also combined with a fair value gap, which increases the probability of it holding Keep in mind that we are still in the discount side of the range, so I'm still looking for bullish prices, at least until I get to the 50% level of the range. So we had a reaction and another market structure shift, leaving a fair value gap behind. So we had another reaction with a shift, leaving another order block behind, which also got a reaction and pushed price higher into the premium side of the range into the H1 favorable gap that was highlighted at the beginning of this video. So as you can see, there was enough opportunities to climb the bus to the premium side. All you have to do is to place yourself in one position and ride it to the premium side. So that's how far the price went. It went above the short term high, which means that it might trade to the intermediate term high, which is also the external range in this case so that's it for this video guys so don't forget to leave a comment about what you're struggling with or what you guys would like me to cover also don't forget to like and subscribe for more content until i catch you next time that's for daniel